use of English, both at home here and internationally, it will be very good for Sri Lanka, and that's why we are practicing it. And the use of Creole locally, just as good. Creole is the language of the street. Like many of his people, President Siaka Stevens switches easily from standard English to Creole, depending on the situation. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Hey, 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 hey. Stevens recently resigned, but as president, he liked to buy fresh fish from the seashore on his way home from work. And Creole is always the language of negotiation. What do I want, I come there twice, thrice a week, and I uh, enjoy the bit of haggling and uh, exchange. I buy fish there now and again because it's quite fresh. That's the beauty and take it home. Well, they tried to charge me a little extra because they say I'm president. Creole is part of a family of African Creoles. Brought here by trade, Creole is being spread by trade. Olive Coker teaches English, but uses Creole in the marketplace. It includes universal pidgin words like savvy and pickaninny. Most of the communication in the market is in Creole. You can get things cheaper just by being nice to them, talking and begging most of the time. How much is Pepe? Pepe? 20-20 cents. I think I will see what I'm doing. Why do you need Pepe? I want to buy it. 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 Part of Shakespeare and the Bible have been translated into Creole. Its unique spelling conventions have recently been codified in a Creole English dictionary. The Dr. Johnson of Creole is Professor Eldred Jones. The word for house is os. Shoe is sus. Trousers would be tosis. Eye would be yai. Ear, that would be yes. Nose would be nos. Mouth would be mot. Stomach would be belle. There are a number of English-related pigeons and creolized languages all the way down the west coast of Africa, in the Caribbean, in parts of North America, which are, with a certain amount of adjustment, mutually intelligible, because they were developed by speakers who originally spoke African languages and who then came in contact with English. And so they, made, they tended to make the same kinds of adjustment to their speech. This na free tongue, na Theodore Dugan de read the use. President Shaka Stevens left State House na free tongue today for go work on Monrovia, when at the capital for Liberia. Before he left, the president, where he talk to pressman them, talk say he hopes say this patrol where they go go help for make the trading business and the friendship where they between Salon and Liberia go before. From now till this same time tomorrow, the place go warm little bit. <laughs> <laughs>